Have you ever wondered why the world around us bursts with vibrant colors? Do we all see these colors the same way, or do we live in a differently colored world? Is your red the same as someone else's red? Get ready to challenge your senses and expand your horizons as we venture into solving the fundamental question whether the colors are real. We already know that color-blind people don't perceive all colors. But what about the rest of us? Do we all see colors the same way, or is color just a trick our brains play on us? Let's dive in with a mind-boggling little experiment. Take a look at the dress displayed here and tell us what colors you see. Is it white and gold, or is it blue and black? Or maybe something else entirely? Drop a comment in the comment section describing the colors you see. So, which colors did you see? Here are the results of our little experiment. Almost 67% of the people see this dress as white and gold, while approximately 33% perceive it as blue and black. Yes, you heard it right, different people see completely contrasting colors in this picture. But the astonishing fact is the actual color of the dress was blue and black. Yes, it is blue and black. So, which colors did you see? Try this experiment with your family and friends to find out whether they see the same color as you. So the real question is, why then majority of the people saw it as white and gold? This dress color illusion, famously known as the dress, burst onto the internet scene in February 2015. It revolves around the apparent color of a dress worn by the mother of a bride at a wedding. A photo of the dress made its way onto social media, and it swiftly sparked a global divide in how people interpreted its colors. Some like Kim Kardashian said she saw white and gold while Taylor Swift saw it as blue and black. To unravel the mystery behind the color of this dress, let's attempt to understand how light works and how our brain perceives various colors. As you may have learned in school, light is an electromagnetic wave, and its wavelength determines the color we perceive if it falls within the visible spectrum. This is what we perceive as optical light, while we are not able to see microwaves or radio waves. But what's remarkable is that the visible spectrum is only a tiny part of the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Here's the mind-boggling truth. The wavelength of an electromagnetic wave doesn't inherently carry any color property. It's our brains, those marvelous biological wonders, that create the illusion of color. Colors are not real in the sense that they exist independently of us. They are a product of our perception. When an electromagnetic wave interacts with matter, such as the light reaching our eyes, it gets absorbed as tiny packets of energy known as photons. But there might be mysterious matter, like dark matter, that doesn't interact with light and thus remains invisible to us. Let's delve a bit deeper into how your eyes identify colors. Think of your eye as a camera that captures images. When light enters our eyes, it encounters specialized cells called cones in the retina. Humans have three types of cones, sensitive to different wavelengths of the spectrum, short, medium, and long cones. Short cones are sensitive to the color we call blue, medium cones are sensitive to green, and long cones are sensitive to red. These cones send signals to our brain, informing it about the number of each type activated. When light enters your eye, it stimulates these cones in varying amounts based on its color composition. For instance, if you're looking at a red apple, the light reflecting off the apple predominantly stimulates the red cones in your retina. The interesting part is that the brain doesn't perceive specific colors based on individual wavelengths. Instead, it interprets the combined cone signals to create the colors we see. But everyone is different at so as how their brain interpret a different wavelength of the light. Here's the fascinating fact. The color you see is not an inherent property of objects. Instead, color depends on how objects interact with light. When light strikes an object, some wavelengths are absorbed, while others are reflected or transmitted. Let's take a red object as an example. When you move this object to a room with white light, it appears red because it's reflecting light with longer wavelengths in the red spectrum while absorbing all other wavelengths. These reflected longer wavelengths then reach your eye's retina. Here's where the real magic happens. Your incredible brain identifies these wavelengths as red, 
creating the beautiful perception of the object's color. Hold on to your seats, because we're about to unravel another mind-boggling aspect of color perception. As we mentioned earlier, the colors we perceive are not just about the objects themselves but also depend on the characteristics of the light source. Get ready for this. Different light sources emit light with various wavelengths and intensities. Sunlight, for example, is a dazzling spectrum of colors, while artificial lighting like bulbs may have different color temperatures. Now, here's where it gets even more fascinating. The same object can appear slightly different under different lighting conditions. Let's imagine we have a white ball. If we move this ball to a room with blue light, brace yourself, because our eyes and brain will perceive it as a blue ball. Why does this happen? Well, in a room with only blue light, the ball can only reflect blue light back to our eyes. Since our eyes detect this blue light, our clever brain interprets it as a blue ball. Even though it was originally white, isn't it simply awe-inspiring? How the interplay of light and our eyes can transform the colors of the world around us? So, the next time you encounter a dazzling scene, remember the enchanting dance of light and how it can paint the world in a different hue. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. Different animals have unique cone arrangements, giving them their own distinct perception of colors. Dogs see the world with just two types of cones, while cats enjoy three. However, nothing beats the remarkable mantis shrimp, boasting an incredible 12 to 16 types of cones. Colors are a product of our biology, not an inherent property of the universe. We are the artists painting the cosmos with hues that dance before our eyes. So finally why the dress was seen by different people in very contrasting colors. Experts suggest that the photo was taken in unusual lighting, causing the image to be perceived differently. The lighting conditions, coupled with individual variations in color perception, played a significant role in the diverse interpretations. Our brains automatically adjust colors based on the surrounding lighting. This phenomenon, known as color constancy, ensures that we see a consistent color despite varying light sources. However, in the case of the dress, the lighting was so ambiguous that our brains couldn't agree on a single interpretation. According to a study published in the Journal of Vision, the initial picture suffered from excessive exposure, leading to uncertainty about the light source. As a result, we instinctively make assumptions about the lighting conditions that impact the appearance of the dress and influence how we see its colors. When shadows appear blue, our mental process involves subtracting this blue hue to interpret the image, resulting in a perception of vibrant colors, specifically, gold and white. However, given that artificial light typically holds a yellowish tint, when we adjust the image accordingly, we unconsciously factor out this yellow tone. This adjustment leads us to perceive the dress as black and blue. This shows that our brains always think about where the light comes from to figure out the real color of things. So, the next time you marvel at a colorful landscape or a masterpiece of art, take a moment to ponder the philosophical and scientific wonders of colors. Remember, while colors might not have an absolute existence, their impact on our lives is unquestionably real. Thank you for joining us on How to Why channel on this fascinating exploration of colors and perception. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more thought-provoking content.